Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 and 15 says, Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? Or what does a believer has in common with an unbeliever? Beloved, God is calling on believers in Jesus Christ, Christians, to separate ourselves and not live like the way unbelievers in Jesus Christ live. The principle in this scripture is for us not to mingle ourselves with the world and do the same things that they do, but we should separate ourselves so that we will not be polluted by the world's evil and corrupt lifestyle. Beloved, the last part of Deuteronomy chapter 22 shows how serious God regards sexual sins. And he commanded that the penalty for adultery and rape of an engaged woman was execution. The main purpose of this law is to prevent sexual relations outside marriage. These laws were put in place to prevent us from having broken relationships, sexually transmitted diseases, unwanted pregnancies, and so on. Beloved, God's laws are not meant to prevent us from having fun but they are to save us from misery, untimely death, and shame.